What's cracking, YouTube? My name's Brody, and welcome to another Pokemon Trading Card Game opening. And today, we're back with the final part of my Breakpoint Boost Box number five. So yeah, um, in the past three parts, we've opened up nine packs per part. And yeah, in this part, we're going to continue that by opening up the final nine of the box. So yeah, in my opinion, part number one, we got some solid hauls. Part number three was average, and part number two was pretty disappointing. So in this part, we're actually hoping to get four pulls. That's how it's kind of been. Like usually, you hope for three pulls per part. Um, so we'd be hoping to have nine pulls already, but I believe we've only pulled eight hollows or better. So we're hoping for four, but if we get three, that is a-okay. I guess. I guess. But let's go. Let's see what we can get in this final part of the box. I have really high hopes. I'm hoping for maybe another two Ultras and two Hollows to get a balance of six ultras po Ultra Pulls and um, six Hollow Pulls as well. But yeah, let's, let's go and see what we can get. Only time will tell. Only time will tell because this box just started off amazing. But yeah, we got a Psyduck, Shelda, Blitzel, Ferroseed, Potion, a Pseudo Wudo, Heatmore, a Reverse Numal, just a Common, and a Drapion. Okay. Pretty mediocre start once again. Started well in part one and two, but part three and four, we couldn't get the first pack magic. But that is a-okay. A-okay. But yeah, if you guys have not seen pass number 1, 2, or 3, they will be linked in the description of the video um, for you guys to have a relatively quick access to. But yeah, I'll also have links to every single part of every single box, breakpoint box that I've actually opened to date um, in the description as well, which is pretty sweet, pretty sweet. But yeah, we've got a Swanner, a Stantler, Slowbro. Slowpoke Reverse, just a common, and a Luxray. Alrighty, Luxray with Bite and Snarl. Cool, cool, cool. Next pack, next pack. So let's see what pack number three has in store for us. So if we're going off the ratios, we'd be expecting a pull right now to hit the one in three pack ratio. But talking about one in three packs, Let's give out a code, because I usually give out about three codes in um, each part to keep it at um, <coughs> kind of the one in three pack ratio as well. But um, let's get cracking into this pack. We got a star you, Skrull, Cricketer, a Drowsy, Growlithe, Misty's Determination, a Swarner, Puzzle Time, a Reverse Golduck. That one is a Reverse Rare. And. A Suicune Hollow, nice. So we pulled one of the most desired Hollows in the set, based off art. Not bad. 120 HP with Wind Charm and Aurora Beam. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. So we did get the one in three pack ratio pulled, as I was mentioning. Luxray Break. Can it come through with the goods? These packs have been opening really well for me. I'm quite pleased. Quite pleased. Saved a lot of pack arts in this uh, box opening. I don't know if you guys are like me. I like I in general. I love to save the pack arts. I love to try open the packs to um, save all the pack arts that I can. But if I um, if I don't, it's just like whatever. Just throw it. But yeah, we got Luxio, a Palpitoad. Oh, okay. Talking about Luxray, we got a Luxray break out of the Luxray break pack art. Not bad. That really kind of sprung up on me. I just realized we have not pulled any breaks till now in this box. That's crazy. Usually I've like easily pulled like one or one or two by now. Dang. And a Clefable. One day, one day I will get the double. But today is not my day. But I open up a second Luxray break, uh, break pack art in a row. Let's go. Lego. I wonder if I'll get another break, actually, I completely forgot about them. I was thinking like Ultra, Ultra and Hollow, but I just never thought break. Here we got a Panjam, Growlithe, Max Potion, 
Fighting Fury Bell. I think that's number two of the box. A Marwile. Delinquent Reverse. And a Golduck. Okay. I was kind of expecting the pulls to be a lot heavier on, like, already into this part. But we have four packs left. And it's looking pretty scarce up the back there. But we will see. We will see. Only time will tell. Only time will tell. But yeah, let's give out this code for you guys. Enjoy. First in, best to rest for that one. But let's go. So, we have a... Ducklet. Glamia. Spritzy. Shinx. Slowpoke. Sigalith. Reverse Valley, a Delinquent, a Reverse Gyarados Spirit Link, that one is just a common, and a Mega Scizor EX. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Definitely a solid pull. I think this is only the second of the case as well, so pretty scarce on scissors. Sciz scissors. Scissors. But yeah, this one's got Iron Crusher. That art looks pretty powerful. I do love how um, Sizzle's Claw is like crushing uh, the end of Crusher in the Japanese lettering. But awesome, awesome, awesome. But let's keep cracking. Let's see what else this box has in store for us because we have three packs left. And I still reckon we could get another, like another break and another Hollow or EX as well. So let's see. Let's see. So we got a Furfru, Corsola, Chikorita, C Dot, Gibble, Arcanine, Aromatisse, Sigalith, Trevenant Break. Okay, so there we go. We saved the breaks to last, apparently. So this one has Silent Fear with 160 HP. So this was actually my first break that I pulled in Breakpoint, which is pretty sweet. And I think in Breakthrough, my first break was. Flogus. Flogus break. But yeah. Cool. And luck strike. God damn it. God damn it. One day. One day, guys. We will get the double. The Mick double. But let's keep going. So we got Lark's Ray. Second last pack of box number five. I don't know. I don't know what to hope for. Because we've got two breaks. We've got an EX. We've got a hollow. I reckon we could probably get two pulls in these last two packs. But I'll give away this code. This will be the final code of the opening. Enjoy. I don't know if you guys just saw the back of that code. <laughs> but it spoiled it for me already. i got to stop looking at the backs. But yeah, we got Chikorita. A Gibble. A Glamyow. Phantom. A Psyduck. Puzzle of Time. Nuzleaf. A Marwile. We've got a Reverse Clefairy with Sing and Double Slap. And a shift tree, shift tree regular rare with roll up and otherworldly return. Okay, so we're up to the final pack of box number five. I don't know, I don't know, you guys. Hopefully, Greninja can come through with one more pull for us. One more pull, but we will see. We will see. See if we can get some last pack magic. Okay, so we're, start, we're finishing it off with a Furfru, Corsola, Chikorita, C Dot, a Gibble, Frogadier, Lapras, Max Potion, a Reverse Rare Pangoro, not bad, and the final final card for this box is a Garchomp Hollow. Okay, so we did manage to finish it off on a high note. Awesome, so it's got 130 HP with Turbo Assault and Bite Off. Very playable card right now. I don't think it's worth too much. When it, when the set first came out, it was rather expensive for this card. But um, it's not too... Not too pricey now. Sorry, I just got a notification on my phone saying that the battery is running low. Running low. <clears throat> so we better wrap this up before the battery goes flat. So let's do a quick recap. Quick, quick recap. That one, that one, and then that one. Okay. So we got a Pangoro Reverse Rare. We got a Reverse Rare Golduck. Definitely good for the re reverse side of things, like in my um, set. We got the Garchomp Hollow. 
We got the Suicune Hollow. We got the two breaks being Luxray Break and Trevenant Break. Haven't really seen too much of Trevenant um, so far in my case opening. And then we got, of course, the Mega Scizor EX would definitely be the highlight pull for me in this part. Purely just based on art, and I just love Scizor because Scizor was introduced in Gen 2, and Gen 2 is kind of my thing. It's just like, what I'm about, what I'm about. But yeah, let me know in the comment section below what you guys think of this scissor art. Um, I personally think um, that they've done a good job with adding that effect, with the like scissor like crushing the letters, like interacting with the um, yeah with the letters and stuff. But yeah, let me know in the comment section below what you guys think about that. Be sure to drop a like on the video if you guys enjoyed today's opening. Subscribe if you're new to my channel or if you just enjoyed today's opening. And I'll see you guys in my next opening. Thanks for watching. Peace.